Hello, welcome. Now I've called to be here for a specific reason. We know right now the moon is helping us get on, on the right path, really going in the right direction and helping us burn away what is lower vibrational. Now, what is lower vibrational that the feminine energies have been caught in, not allowing them to have union within? And we know that, you know, one of our goals is we would like to have union, as well as build our Ten of Cups and harmonize with this beautiful place we're building here, the Golden Ages, baby. I love it. Now, codependency. It's incredible how many divine feminines out there want to have this union, but just they're so obsessed on being in union. That's all it is. It's just about the union, the union, the union. When's the union happening? I did this. When's the union happening? I did that. When's the union happening? Well, it's about your divine counterparts journey too. It's about your evolution. This is about you becoming whole. This is about you understanding the, to create for the great, we're creating here something for the greater good, as well as to building our relationships with our soul tribes, the people we harmonize with, having very close relationships with our children and our, our, fr our friends, our family, the people that we vibe with, having those relationships be part of our being, having a relationship with self be part of our being. This is about us having a relationship with self, Divine Feminine, with ourselves, and not feeling that need of codependency, that need for, for someone to love us, to heal us. And then two, for us to be always giving our Divine Masculine constant love and thinking we need to be healing them. We give them constant love, yes, it's unconditional love. We love them always, but they have to there are times when they have to self-soothe and heal and regenerate and they have to have a relationship with their selves. We can't, we can't be everything for each other. We just have to, we, what I really feel like is like we're part of the pack. We're part of the pack and it's time for us to get that in the, in our, in our, in our heads. We're part of the pack, but we're humans. And it's time to evolve our packs. And it doesn't it doesn't look like, you know, that old pack mentality. You don't even look at wolves. You see wolves. That you've seen I'm sure many times that, that thing on Facebook where the elderly walk in front and the leaders walk at the back. And everybody in the tribe is in the pack is taken care for. It's like everybody in the tribe is cared for. And that's what where Divine Feminine's template, so much of it has been twisted. We've been controlled. We've been, um, <clears throat> our energies have been sexually owned. We've been manipulated. We've been, you know, we haven't been equal in, in other ways. And some of these things I may be saying may be triggering you, depending upon where you're on, on your path. Oh, we're going to a new place now. We're going to a new place. Where are we going? Where are we shifting into? Because if you are on this path and you want your Two of Cups, your Six of Cups, your Ten of Cups, well, this card says it best. It's, a, it's about self-growth. It's about judgment. It's about karma. It's about what you came here to do. Your connection to the other side, your connection to the, the light, literally. Enlightenment. You know, it's incredible. When you have your awakening and your third eye starts at really activating, you can lay down. And you can lay down as Mother Earth holds you and you can look up into the, the sky and you can see the light. You can see the light in a whole new way. And to me, this is like, this is just achievement of gold. We're achieving gold here. And it's through our crowns. And it's through the new kingdoms we're building that are community based. Our tribes.
Mm -hmm. I feel those cards. Eight of Swords with the Seven of Swords. We're feeling played. We're feeling played by the universe. But we're not being played. We're getting into universal flow right now. We're getting aligned. This is about alignment to our highest vibration. This is no longer about us being in control. Ace of Swords, and there it is. The gift of clarity, the gift of light. Transformation. We're transforming, we're becoming more balanced and whole through the moon, with the moon, with the pull of the moon. And we are integrating the sun. And there's the queen of wands. And look at, look at how fierce she looks. It's like that sword now is our wand. And now we can act with it. And there it is. We have success. This is about our success. We're in universal flow here. We had, we've achieved balance, balance restored, and it's balance of the light. And it's also connected to the earth through passions and through a purity. What is a through a purity of the darkness? It's like, you know, the God spiral. It's like making it out of the God spiral far enough that you've integrated enough of the light that, you know, you've achieved success. We know how to play with fire, the fi the energies of fire now of the light. Thanks to cosmic forces at hand. This has to do with the cosmic forces at hand right now. Let's see what's being activated. Nope, 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 nope. nope. being activated. We are making a connection here. We're making a connection of the light, through the light, with the light, because of the light. But right now we're feeling like in the dark. And that's why we feel like we're getting played, but we're not getting played. We're getting in alignment. We're getting in the flow. Right there it is. The Five of Pentacles. Hope is not gone. Grieve out what is being spilled. That's the message of this card. And that's what I mean. This is, this is all about allowing our sorrows to wash through us. To wash through us and then to wash out into the universal flow and allow us to play, to play there. Like our emotions are what get us there, the negative as well as the positive. And when we can learn that, it's not so bumpy along the ride. It, be, it takes us for a smoother ride. And this is about creating with life force energies. Creating with life force energies and the activation of harmony that brings within us and allows us a deeper level of letting go. So what are we shifting into? There we go. We are shifting into Discussing the Two of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Well, the Six of Chalices is all about remembering the innocence and allowing that innocence to, 
be able to have our experience, to be able to even deal with our experience. The seeker indeed shifts focus back to celebration of the innocence and trust of the decisions made at a soul level. Like children of the stars, we leaped into this world to learn to grow and to give. This beautiful key is about remembering that innocence, that total surrender and trusting what is unfolding now. It's what you came to know and experience from your stellar self to your earthly being. This key is all about recognizing that you are a child of the universe. You feel the harmony with yourself and with others who are sharing your path. Wow. Mm. I love it. And there's the coming back together of that innocent pureness within ourselves and the gift that we can give that to ourselves and then having that with our divine counterpart. The light in the cups. And I really feel like this is even, you know, being closer to our children, our parents, our loved ones, period. The people we harmonize with. This this transformation allows that for all of us. Divine Masculine. The frequency of Divine Masculine supports our strong, focused, and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. And there it is. Wow. All right, let's just get one more card now. Divine Masculine. Sacral Chakra. The frequency of the Sacral Chakra, the orange flower of life, supports our ability to flow with our desires and stimulates our creative power to manifest success and abundance in our lives. And that's what we're doing. I wanna thank you for joining me here. I'll see you again soon, take care.